What's up you guys, it's Charge for Techies here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a password or a sign-in sheet in Dreamweaver CS5. Now this is the part 2 of a uh, part 2 um, uh, tutorial videos, and uh, make sure you watch the first video right here if you want to just um, see the basics of it. This is a little more advanced, not not that much. So before you do anything, you want to just click Dreamweaver, and once you click it, then it'll have um, different buttons, and you want to click HTML, and then it'll bring you to this page, and if you're seeing just a bunch of uh, numbers and letters and whatnot. You want to click design, or you can click split right here, so you can see the code and your workspace. All right. So for this, we're just gonna click design. We don't have to really worry about code that much. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click text field in the insert column, and the ID is gonna be identification. Whoops. And the label is gonna be sign in. Not dine in, sign in, and click OK. So now you can see that um, we already have a text field where people can type their um, sign in ID and whatnot. And if you click not Live View, you can see that. So now you just want to go back to Design. You want to go next to the sign in, press Enter. And now you, what you want to do is click the same text field, and you want to click. For ID, we just do identification, and label is going to be password. Click OK. But now for this one, we're going to click this text field, and we're just going to delete it. Hit the delete key or the backspace key on a PC. Scroll down and click Spy Spry Validation um, Password, and you must save the document. Blah blah blah. So just save it. Save. So the ID is going to be uh, just identification again. Now this is a uh, once you do the first uh, process, it's just gonna it's gonna be like a snowball effect. It's just gonna keep um you're just gonna get the hang of it. And labels just gonna be password. But for this, you don't need a need a label actually because I already typed it in. Click OK. And so now you can see that the password um, entry is right here. So if you click Live View. You can see that, oh, I can type in my sign-in. Oh, I can click password. I mean, I can type in my password. But you guys know that um, below below the sign-in password, you, you always have the sign-in button, and you always have um, save my password um, to my computer. And I know it gets um, a little annoying sometimes, but it's really useful if you just go to the website and you're already signed in. So we're going to do that today. So what you want to do is click checkbox. And the ID is going to be um, uh, keep identification. And the label is going to be um, allow um, computer to keep password. I don't know. Whatever you guys want to type, it's up to you. And you don't have to do a question mark. I know it looks a little unprofessional, but hey, we're trying to have fun here. And so now you can see, oh, click my sign in, type in your password, and then you check if you want the computer to keep the password. And there's a lot of code behind this, so it's not like you have to make you if you're cre actually creating this, then you're actually, you're gonna want to go to code, and you're wanna, gonna wanna type in some code so that um, you're actually able to sign into that website. But we're not real. We're not um. We're not gonna actually be doing that. I'm just showing the basics and how to start it up. But if you want to see a code, I suggest that you search on YouTube, and I'm I'm pretty sure there's videos out there. And same with this. If we're gonna create a sign-in button, it's not. You just create it and bam, you'll be able to sign in. There's a lot of code behind it. So now you wanna, in the insert menu, click button. ID is gonna be sign in. And label is going to be sign in. And we're going to do wrap with label, label tag. And 
Um, value, we're not going to do submit. On the bottom, it should have value. We're going to just do sign in. And then we're going to delete this right here. Oops. Delete that. And you could always change the font and whatever. You can move this over a little bit so it matches the password. Um, now if you click live code, then you can see that, oh, I can sign in, blah, 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 password, blah, 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 blah. And now after we do the sign in, let's do a create new I create new um style. So if if you're if you don't have a password or sign in account, of course you're gonna have to 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 do create new. So let's um let's do that. Let's get out of live co live view. After sign in, we're just gonna create a whole different uh thing. So let's put this here, and this is gonna be um create new account. Now, if you're gonna want to create a new account, then you're gonna want um, a text field for uh, for your um, email address. So ID is gonna be email. The label is gonna be email address. And you want to put a colon after that. Create new. There you go. Yeah, and I spelled email wrong. Um, okay. And so after email address, they always have you type in some other stuff, maybe like first name or last name, maybe even middle initial. So um, it's it's really simple. You're just gonna want to keep creating text fields with um with the same label but if you already have a label there then you obviously don't have to do it middle initial and now with the middle initial we're not gonna make it so big like it is right here <coughs> excuse me L um let's do the width to the I don't know five or let's have it be I don't know ten there we go. So you, now you see that it's not so big to where, because, you know, your middle initial is only one letter, so you don't have to make it really big like the other ones. And the last name, you can just copy one text field and then paste it there. And so after you do that, you want to you wanna click, you want to make a button. And so now what you want to do is go to the insert, click button, label is going to be sign in. As I um as I said before, there's a lot of code to this, so it's not like you're just gonna create a button and it's automatically gonna do what you want it to do. You have to create um you have to put a bunch of code behind it. Um, when I say code, I mean uh, I mean um all the stuff behind a website to make you be able to sign in, to make you be able to create your own account. And so I'm just gonna delete this sign in right here. And there you go. That's how you create. Um, a sign in format form and a create a new account form right here. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and um, watch my other videos and watch all my upcoming videos because I'm really excited because I have a lot of stuff in mind, a lot of short films and whatnot. Um, be sure to watch my other videos, my past videos as well because they're really good. And I have another. A dream weaver tutorial as well so click here to watch that and also i have a i have a giveaway going on so you can click here for that as well all right thanks for watching make sure to subscribe peace